it's, it's really tough. Um, when you're a sports person, an elite athlete, it, it takes up all of your time. It, it's you know all you ever think about. As soon as you wake up in the morning, it's I've got to go to training, I've got to eat right, I've got to rest right. So um, uh, it, it is difficult, but um, I find for me personally that if I just did sport, I'd probably go stir crazy. I have to ha do other things. In judo, we work in the Olympic cycles, and I would say for the Rio cycle, um, it, everything was new. Everything was like um, the first time I was preparing for the Olympics. So I. I all I could think about was going to the Olympics, all I could think about was preparing right and um, I found it very hard to switch off. I didn't really do that much um, outside of judo and the Rio cycle. And you become really obsessive and uh, some of those behaviours aren't, aren't always healthy. Obviously I'm getting older and I'm more experienced and, and I decided that you know if I was going to go on this journey again and try and qualify for the Olympics, this possibly could be my last. And I started to think about, right, life after sport. What what do I do? Like when I finish in Tokyo, where do I go next? After Rio, I was potentially thinking of starting university, and um, we spoke about the pros and cons of taking on a course and whether I'd have enough time. And we actually decided that maybe if I levelled up on my judo course and did the level three, then it puts me in a really good position. After Tokyo, I could actually do the level four, which is a degree, which is amazing. I don't have to go to uni for you know, three, four years. I can actually get a degree another way. So I'm just a yes person. If someone says, do you want to come along and do this thing, and do a talk to this school or to an, an army base or wherever it is, I just go, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And um, I found that I've just been broadening my experiences over this cycle. My advice would be that um, when an opportunity comes your way and it's, uh, you have to take a half a Saturday off or maybe it's an evening after training when you know you might be tired, I would say just every so often just try one of them. It might seem like really annoying and pointless at the time but you can actually start to actually find another niche outside of your sport, something that you actually are really good at. I never knew that I could be good at motivating other people or um, speaking in front. I always thought I was camera shy, I couldn't speak in front of people, but I would say that you'd be surprised about what you can discover about yourself when you try other things. The reality is that one day you're not going to be doing this, you're not going to be travelling around the world and winning big medals and, and feeling the emotions that you're feeling now. And um, it's so important that I don't have that feeling of I'm scared to quit, I'm scared to stop, I'm scared to retire because I have nothing else afterwards. And it's really given me that peace of mind that I can just enjoy this journey up until it stops because I know that I'm already putting things in place so that when I do finish, you know, I'm not going to be in no man's land, I know where I'm going from there.